new insight into the police's handling of a 911 call from a Grand Rapids murder victim desperate for help in her final moments. Target 8 shared the audio of that haunting 911 call for the first time last month, nearly three years after the double murder in a home on Sheldon. Darrell Damon Brown is still on the run tonight, wanted in the shooting deaths of his girlfriend and her niece. Target 8 investigator Susan Samples has new details from the department's investigation into its own actions that day. One of the biggest questions in this case has been after Kiana Griffin called 911 to say her aunt had been murdered and she would be next, why didn't police do more when they came to the home? This internal affairs report I obtained has that answer to a degree, and it involves five crucial words police say the 911 dispatcher just didn't hear. 911 emergency. Hello? It's clear the 911 call taker strained to hear Kiana Griffin's terrified whisper that day in March 2019. Okay, where are you located? I'm sorry, ma'am, I can't hear you. He managed to get her address, 553 Sheldon Southeast, and her name, Kiana. But listen carefully to Griffin's next words. It was that sentence the Internal Affairs report said the dispatcher missed. The report reads, it should be noted that investigators realized a whispered statement was missed by the 911 call operator. The statement, he already killed my auntie. That information was not in the call for service, said the report, or relayed to the responding officers due to the fact it was not heard by the call taker. In other words, police on scene knew only that the caller said someone was trying to kill her, not that someone was already dead. This call looked interesting. I say you want to join the fun? Three officers spent three and a half minutes knocking on doors, trying doorknobs, which were locked, looking and listening for signs of trouble inside. 1878, can you try to call back? 1878, there was no answer. Seems like it's empty. Uh, you can see it. It looks like a little dining room or something in there. It's empty. There's nothing in the back here. The officers left only to be called back two and a half hours later. 911 emergency. Kiana Griffin's brother found her body and that of their aunt, Sherlita Baber Bay. Three years later, U.S. Marshals are still searching for the only suspect in the murders, Baber Bay's boyfriend, Darrell Damon Brown, who has seemingly vanished. And the victim's relatives say they're still looking for GRPD to take responsibility for failing their loved ones. And I want this to be known. If it would have been East Grand Rapids, Forest Hills, or, you know, uh, some other affluent area, they would have came with the whole Calvary. The house would have been surrounded, and they wouldn't have left until the owner came or till they found out who was in that home. They wouldn't have left. The internal affairs report said responding officers did not find evidence of a crime, and police and Kent County's prosecutor have said previously officers did not have legal standing to force their way into the home. The report blacked out all transcripts of actual interviews with the dispatcher and officers. The city cited a state law that says certain statements made by officers are prohibited from disclosure. Target 8 will appeal the city's decision to deny us access to the transcripts of those actual interviews. The victim's family is talking to an attorney and still hopes to sue the city. They also ask anyone who knows anything about Darrell DeMond Brown's whereabouts to please call the U.S. Marshals. There is a $25,000 reward for information that directly leads to his arrest.